video is made possible by EA Game Changers. Special thanks to EA for allowing me to have special access to do this review for you guys. Hello my beautiful buddies and welcome to a special edition of Rebuilding Strange Town because the new Strangerville pack has just launched so I'm doing a little overview review for you guys. I'm talking about my favorite features of the pack and what we get and things like that. But before we start I want to um, say for you guys that are new that may not know um, what Rebuilding uh, um, Strange Town is because it's a series on the channel. I originally started with um, Pleasant View and I decided that I really wanted to do a throwback save file so now we're rebuilding all of the old Sims 2 worlds into The Sims 4 and this pack couldn't have came at a more perfect time for me because I just started doing Rebuilding Strange Town and now we have a world that really really accurately depicts what i'm trying to like recreate here um so yeah i normally talk more about the families that actually live in the houses but today i am going to be talking about the features of the pack so if you would like to hear more about the smith family the family that actually owns the house um from the sims 2 then i will make sure to go ahead and link the um the creative sim that i did um a few days actually prior to actually knowing that this pack was actually going to come out um, so check that out afterwards, but, um, let's like actually introduce myself before I review this. My name is Rosebud. You guys may call me Rosa Ro if you're new. Um, I am a university student. I study journalism in case any of you guys were wondering. I know that question pops up sometimes. Um, and I started my channel almost two years ago. Yeah, two years in May. So that is very, very exciting. Um, I also do dabble in other games sometimes, um, but I mainly stick to Sims. That's definitely my favorite, as you can see. Um, I also stream on Twitch sometimes as well. Um, yeah, I dabble in other games there too, but that, that's not the important part. The important part is this pack and like what are the new features of it, what's new, what's the 411, you know? Um, so I'm gonna actually gonna start with my favorite part of the pack actually. I want to talk to you guys about the town that we get in general because we get like a really really pretty big pack. Um, not a pretty big pack. We have a pretty big town for just a game pack I wanted to say because we get 11 lots in this world and if you recall I think Del Sol Valley had about um, I want to say like 12 lots or something like that. So for a game pack this world is really really big and i'm really really happy about it too because unlike del sol valley i really do feel like that 11 lots is more than enough well maybe not more than enough we, we i scratched that it is perfect amount is the perfect amount <laughs> for this world because it kind of gives you the feeling of you're in the desert and kind of like the middle of nowhere area 51 kind of vibe um so i definitely feel like it it does accurately depict that in like how many lots we get in it so i really 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 like it the views are absolutely incredible i don't know if you guys can tell um with like me building like behind it but there is these gorgeous gorgeous canyons and i just feel like i'm like in the grand canyon and i have to say like this isn't just not just me like saying this but i really do think that landscape wise this is probably the prettiest town that we've had landscape wise and i was actually really really happy to see another desert town because we haven't gotten another desert town since like like you know launch and i really really like this one i really really think it's super duper duper beautiful if you guys are a fan of oasis springs then you'll absolutely love this because it's gorgeous here um and yeah i just i really really like the world it's it's honestly the best part of the pack because i even think that if you're someone who isn't interested in the pack for the actual gameplay then you will like the world because one thing that they have included is that you don't have to have your sims um engage in solving this mystery about what's going on and things like that you can play plan it just for normal purposes as well so that's definitely a plus but if you get this pack i really do think you should go ahead and explore the storyline because it is so weird and cool and i love it because it reminds me of so much of strange down um <clears throat> 
I should explain too that The Sims 2, which I'm like the world I'm like rebuilding my save file from, is like is very very story 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 oriented, and I definitely feel like in the beginning, um, The Sims 4 definitely really lacked that whole like storyline kind of connecting aspect of the game um and i think this pack does really really well with like bringing the story back into the game and i think a lot of people really really enjoy really really discovering about what's actually going to happen to your sims and why that is and things like that i also was really really pleased too to see the military career come back because that was definitely a career that we've always had i that at least in the i know we had it in two and i know we had it in three i'm not sure if we had it in one i'm pretty sure we probably would have at some point but yeah it's a career that we've always had so i was really really like expecting it to come back at some point and i think it like fits really really well with this pack i haven't gotten a chance personally to do a lot of gameplay myself yet but it's something that i'm definitely looking to do in the future if i start a strange town lp after i um you know, after I finish this, <laughs> finish this world for you guys, which will be downloadable in the end to no CC. It, it's it's going to be bomb as usual. But anyway, um, let's move on to build and buy as well as create a sim. So for create a sim, first of all, I do think that you, we get a lot of beautiful, beautiful items for the females in particular. I was really actually surprised actually to see how many like very usable staple items that we get in this pack for females because I wasn't really expecting that, especially if you like bohemian clothes. There was a lot of things with, um, like bohemian style of clothing that I kind of enjoyed, but they were very like, you know, like normal enough to use like in any Sims kind of wardrobe kind of thing. And I always like staples. I always like things like that. We also too got a really, really gorgeous um, braided hairstyle, like a French braid hairstyle. And I thought that was super duper cute. Um, as well as for men, we got a buzz cut. We also got a gender neutral dreadlocks hairstyle as well as a um, curly hairstyle, like a short curly hairstyle. Um, there's also too a very much of a country flair to this as well so we got like a cowboy hat and cowboy boots they're super duper cute <laughs> um as well as like one of those like how, how do i describe this to you guys it's like an aviator hat it's like a think of amelia Earhart, the hat that she wears i do not know what that's called i am sorry <laughs> but some of you guys may know what i'm talking about um as well as the males we get a lot of new nice jeans for the males we got a couple new pairs which makes me so happy because males for the longest time didn't have like any nice jeans for them to wear like they were all looked like they belonged in the early 2000s so i'm really happy that they started bringing more clothing for them that actually he fits well you know we need some love for the males too and they definitely delivered as well as they got a really cute leather jacket and um a plaid shirt as well as like very cowboy kind of styled clothing as well um uh, I'm, t I'm telling you guys my favorite things the things that like stuck in my mind there's definitely more than these things i'm just like letting you know uh, these are my favorite um as well as for the females i really really like this maxi dress that we got as well as this like really cute two-piece crop top and like um jumper kind of like dungaree kind of dress kind of thing it's really super cute you guys probably see in a great sim um sooner or later for me as well as um the children the children got a couple of new pieces they got two new clothing items they got a jacket i believe and a dress we did not get any clothing items or hairs or anything like that for the toddlers unfortunately as well as hairs for children they didn't get anything at all um but i do think that the items for the men and the and the woman in this pack are really actually surprisingly nice we didn't get a whole lot of them but i do think with what they gave us are definitely very very usable things and things that i can see a lot of players using like again and again and again and again which in my opinion i'd rather have a i rather have less of clothing items i could see my sims wearing a lot and actually using them and actually 
even like maybe preferring them over custom content sometimes you know rather than having some items like a lot of items and me maybe using like 80 percent of the cat's items like you know what i mean um so i definitely think there's a lot of nice ones there for the adults um so you guys will ha probably have to go and check it out and might create a sim soon um as well as um build and buy so build and buy i have to say i think i liked build mode this time actually even more than buy which is actually really strange because i'm actually really always like prefer buy over build just because i like to see like all the new items and things like that but we had so many new doors and windows that are really really pretty and really really unique looking like there's some pointed ones um as well as like these really beautiful square ones i could see even using in like I don't know like an English townhouse or something like that there's definitely a lot you could do with these items and I just like really really liked it we got some new pillars as well and fencing um, so there's a lot to discover there as far as um, items go we got a couple of a couple of a new painting I really like and a um, a poster too um, as well as like a bunch of new like military items and like weird sciencey kind of items as well as well as like these like really creepy vine looking things as well as those like alien object things so i'm wondering if those things actually infect your sims it's something that i'll have to discover later down the line but that seems really really interesting as well we also got a really really cute jute box as well as like old rundown items um we also got laptops which is definitely a big surprise because i definitely didn't expect laptops until like if they ever decided to do like a university pack or something like that well i'm sure they will i'm hoping they will <laughs> um so like that was a really big surprise to get laptops um i'm really curious to see too if they can like go in your sims inventory i'm guessing they can't like why make a laptop not and not do that but like i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm gonna see first before I'll, I'll confirm that before i actually know you know um and what else did we get that i really really liked oh this really really cool like light car plate thing like i can't explain it like i have it over the um in the, in the Smith's house, I added a, like, little, like, wine um, refrigerator area. So, I put it up there, like, and I made it smaller. So, it's really, really cool. There's also, too, this really cool bathtub with, like, filled with plants. And I thought that was so freaking cool. It did not fit the Smith's house at all, at least not full size. So, I made it miniature and I put it in, like the hallway upstairs just because i had to freaking use it it was so cool i think this pack actually pairs really really nice with um get to work and i thought this was so so funny too because i have to be honest with you guys get to work was one of my least favorite packs just because i kind of felt like i don't know there was something about this ad expansion pack that wasn't as like as enticing to me as the other ones and i always felt like there was like something lacking with it but with strange town i actually really think that playing the police career as well as the um the scientist career especially the scientist career um gives like a new life to the pack because i really do feel like that the military the, you know the science and the police career can definitely go really really well in like the world and like this going along with like discovering what's kind of going on in strangerville you know so i was actually really surprised and pleased to that especially with the aliens too i definitely feel like um i'm not exactly like, like i said i'm not sure what's like for sure what's going on with these like sims and like if it actually is an alien thing i'm guessing it is i'm really positively sure it is but i don't want to say that just in case it's not <laughs> but i do really think that it goes with the whole alien theme as well and i thought this was so funny too because um you guys were pointing out like oh how the heck did you actually line up the whole like um strange um town thing with like the new pack coming out so perfectly because i only had like a few families really made in like one house beating the house made before the pack actually really launched which i actually spent time actually um like renovating um the specter's house just a little bit just a little bit and adding some 
items, like some created some items to the singles household as well as the specters and um, a new family that you guys will, will see as well. Um, so I, I did some of that stuff like off camera and things like that because it just fits so nicely. I couldn't help myself. Um, but yeah, I did think this was really, really funny because like it just happened to work out so perfectly. And I was, again, so happy and blown away by this world because I was having such a hard time picturing and mapping out Strange Town um, for Oasis Springs. And immediately as I opened this pack and had like my first impression like on my own and things like that because I like to have you know I like to have my like own little freak out by myself because I'm sure there's so many people that are doing like a creatism overview and build by overview that I really really like to display I guess my video in a kind of like a build and create some kind of way like seeing it being used um so uh, yeah I, I really 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 liked it for for strange town because all the worlds and the lots i could actually see them being placed in the world and actually it working really really well versus in oasis springs i just couldn't get that vibe for it you know and this is just so perfect and i'm sure you guys are gonna be even more now excited to see the save file be done because we have a world and every house and every lot like fits so perfectly in it that I am now so excited and it gives me so much inspiration to just keep on building now. Um, so yeah, that's definitely, definitely a plus. So, um, so those of you guys that are thinking right now, um, should I get this pack? And I want to say that if you're one of these three people, then you should definitely get this pack. One, if you're looking for a new world so if you're looking for someone who wants a new world whether you really want to discover this mystery or not i'm, I'm not judging depending on what you want to do i think you should get this world i mean should get this pack because the world is so beautiful honestly like it, it's like it's new you can always do with more real estate in the sims it is so gorgeous honestly if i didn't um if i wasn't part of the EA game changers i definitely would go ahead and get this alone just for the fact that the world is so so freaking pretty um two if you're someone who um spends a lot of time in cast you're gonna love a lot of these items because they're really really good staple items um for the um what am i call it for the sims and number three i definitely think that if you're someone who really really enjoys like the old storylines and like even like the spin-off games of the sims that have done like those like really um heavy storyline type games like castaway stories and um life stories and pet stories and things like that from the sims 2 and just like sims 2 world like lore in general i definitely think that you're gonna enjoy this because again this gives me a very very storyline heavy based kind of thing and also too at this moment i'm not sure if you can see it but that was that, that like little car thing i was talking about um and yeah i definitely think those in those three situations you're going to be very very happily um very very happy to buy this pack as well if you too of course if you like build buy mode don't expect like a ton of items for build buy mode this time but i do really think that again what what we got it was really really nice i definitely really like the windows and doors especially um and laptops laptops are always a plus it gives the items itself um give me fall fallout vibes if you guys ever played fallout it definitely gives me that like 1950s mix with like post-apocalyptic kind of feel to it so I feel like if you're someone who like purely builds traditional homes and like modern homes and things like that, you may not get as much use out of this. I, I would not as um as maybe as someone who like likes to like build like quirky things sometimes and unique things and things like that, which you should. You should broaden your building palette all the time. So much fun. <laughs> but I definitely do feel like that the I well, with the items itself is their qual their quality with um, okay their their quality over quantity basically so i really really like the things that we do have i don't think you need a whole abundance of them for it to be great i do definitely think that um yeah what makes up 
for it in the town and the whole discovering the mystery thing is worth it to me to have like lesser and maybe build and buy and create a sim um especially too with just how beautifully they coordinated it i think everything fits so well and players are definitely going to get a lot of use out of this um so yeah definitely go and check this out i definitely think it's a really really great buy um of course, I might be a little bit biased because I really love Sims, but I always tell you guys the truth. I always tell you the guys the good, the bad, the ugly, um, which there really isn't very much ugly <laughs> or bad, I guess. But there is actually something really weird about this pack that I like said, that is so ew, but I love it at the same time. And there are these like radioactive like spill things that like are decals for the walls and the floor, which I found so freaking funny, but that's a thing. Um, and as well as oh what was something else that oh there was one thing I feel like that bothered me about this pack just one thing that I did not like that when I saw it and there was this one tank top for the males that hung too far off their body and like there was a gap between the hips and the butt um to like the sim and i don't know if that was intentional like that or what but i that was the only thing i seen that like i looked at it and i would be like and i was like no i i i have trouble using this for the fact of that so that was the only real complaint i think i have about about this pack otherwise i love the items i love freaking love the world i love this world it's so beautiful and you guys know how much i really like oasis springs just because like for a while it was like the only desert town i felt like it was kind of underrated but this definitely is like so so beautiful i really like the lighting in it too like it definitely doesn't give you that like weird yellowy lighting i feel like like that oasis springs does sometimes it's it's just so beautiful like guys get, get this get this pack for the world alone that you're not going to be sorry with this pack it is so pretty um and yeah i'll try to get up the beakers really really soon we should be heading into the screenshots for the smith's house so go check out the smith um create sim as well i did that before the pack was announced just just fyi um and i'm going to try the again the beakers from the sims 2 strange town um up next week um I'm not going to make any promises just because I actually, um, I actually have class, I have class and homework to do. Um, but yeah, we're going to, we're going to try to get this done because I, I really, really excited just to keep on building, keep on creating for you guys and get the big strange town update up for you guys um so let me know what you guys think of this pack whether you're getting it whether you're not getting it make sure to follow me in all my social media including my blog down below thank you guys also too for almost 2,000 subs um and yeah i will talk to you guys later okay um enjoy the new videos on the whole like strange bill things like that there's going to be a lot of good good videos up from the ea game changer so go support them go make sure to tell them i sent you and i love you guys all so 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 much and i will speak to you guys soon.